Hello and welcome to the Three Peaks Challenge. We're beginning here in Scotland, where we're going to begin by climbing Ben Nevis, which is 1,344 metres up to the summit. That makes it the largest mountain in the UK. We'll then be moving on to Scarfell Pike and also onto Mount Snowdon in Wales. I'm here with four teammates, so let's meet them. Yeah, I'm Henson, I'm 26, electrician. I'm from Plymouth. Um, I never really realised how big Ben Nevis was when the idea came along to do this project. I thought, yeah, yeah, sounds good. And after taking a look at the hill, it is quite a beast. It should be a good experience. It's been a good experience already. I mean, the weather is absolutely fantastic up here. It's a right weird place to look around. It's nothing like home, which is good. It's always nice to have new experiences. People seem friendly enough. It's good. It's good. I'm looking forward to it. Hi, I'm Mike Mason. I'm a student from Falmouth. I'm 21. And I've come to Scotland to climb Ben Nevis. I've not done this before, but I've been walking around places before, so I'm just up for the adventure, really. I leave a kind of fairly active lifestyle, so my whole life's a sort of training almost. I BMX surf, um, I'm doing a design degree, so kind of art design. I heard about the Three Peaks Challenge off a friend, and uh, it sounded like a bit of an intense activity. So, again, it's another adventure, so I thought, why not try it? Hi, I'm Sarah, I'm 18 and I've just finished my A-levels in uh, Biology, Geology and Geography. I'm really excited about climbing this mountain, uh, I've just been to Africa recently, I love adventuring and I'm really up for getting up there and having a good time with all you lot. I have uh, made a, an attempt at it but I was only about 8 when I did it so didn't really count. Hi, my name's John, um, I'm 25 years old, I'm a barman from Kent and uh, I'm here for the, for the experience of, well, the exercise really, I suppose. I love, I love to walk, I love sports and football and surfing and uh, this is something a bit different from the usual thing I do, so I thought I'd give it a go. I'm a keen photographer too, so I'm looking forward to getting some great, uh, great wildlife shots. As you can see, well, it's a beautiful day today and hopefully will be tomorrow, so it should be some great light for some, some great pictures. I'm feeling fairly confident about the, about the trip up the mountain. It should be a laugh. Before myself and the team embark on the first part of our challenge, let's have a look around the local area and speak to some of the local people. Well, I mean, the Three Peaks Challenge was set up many years ago, and, and I believe it was the forces that did it originally. Um, they sort of took up the, the three highest sort of peaks, and they tried to do it in 24 hours, and we're trying to get away from that nowadays because of just the logistics of doing it in 24 hours is, is nigh on impossible and, and quite dangerous really. There really is only one path, I mean we, we never advertise the, the back pass which is, the, which is known as the Arete. Um, it's just a bit too dangerous, you really need a lot of sort of mountain climbing experience, especially in winter, it's ice axes, crampons, but even that you need to be experienced to go up there. Um, take an experienced people about 7 hours, 7 to 8 hours it takes them uh, to get up the mountain and that's, that's quite a sort of the general estimate that we give and it's pretty accurate we found. There's still sort of heavy snow, the three or four foot of snow in the plateau itself, so when the cloud level comes down it, it can be quite nasty up there. But as a general rule of thumb, the, the path's pretty clear, it's when the cloud and the weather turns up that things can turn nasty. Yes, it's uh, it's quite a challenging place to, to farm for instance, you know, you, you can see the, the, the angle of the, the hillsides up there and the the quality of the grass is obviously much lower than it would be in in, uh, in lowland situations. So, yeah, it's it's it, it's mostly hill sheep farming, which is quite a challenging occupation. You need to be uh, kind of part mountaineer, part farmer, really. And uh, it's uh, and it's very labour intensive. It takes it takes a, a lot of men and a, a lot of uh, well trained dogs to gather sheep off these hills. And it's. Uh, uh, unfortunately, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a dying profession in the, in these areas because sheep have disappeared off these hills in the last uh, five or six years. But uh, Ben Nevis is still actively farmed, and there's still a sheep stock on on the slopes of Ben Nevis. There's there's obviously a very good path which leaves not far from here, and uh, that path goes all the way to the summit where there used to be a, a an observatory that was manned for about 20 years just at the turn of the century. So there's a very uh, well-maintained path up there. It's still four and a half thousand feet and about four and a half miles, so it's a, it's a, it's a long slog that requires quite a bit of determination. They are crucial to, to, the whole, to the whole sort of thing, the whole infrastructure of Ben Nevis. I mean, Lochaber Mountain Rescue 
they're all uh, volunteers, uh, they all live locally and this time of year it's not too bad, you find it out quite often you might be picking some people who have twisted their ankles or things like that, but come sort of April time, March, April time and, and towards the sort of start of the winter that they're constantly out on the mountain picking people up off the mountain because of accidents or being where they shouldn't be or we find mainly it's people who are heading up Ben Nevis who really shouldn't be up Ben Nevis in, in these conditions and we really need to be well prepared and, and quite experienced in winter climate to get there. Dramatic rescue was carried out by a Royal Navy seeking helicopter early this morning. The school teacher and his two pupils spotted by members of a local mountain rescue team were found clinging desperately to the sheer face of an ice field 3,000 feet up the side of Ben Nevis. They'd spent 25 hours in freezing conditions after losing their way in the notorious Five Finger Gully. Experts say they are lucky to have escaped with their lives. They were hopelessly ill-equipped with the conditions wearing jeans and trainers. The alarm was raised at 9 o'clock last night when the school party failed to return from the mountain. During the night they heard a helicopter circling above them, but a fire they lit to signal their position was obscured by cloud and mist. You're sitting here in the office sometimes, you hear that helicopter going, you know, it can be, it can be two or three times a day sometimes on a Saturday, and it can be something like five or six times a week. And you think if that costs, I don't know, 15, 20,000 pounds a time, for example, I don't know, but it's very, very expensive. And sadly, there is, there is a number of fatalities every year on Ben Nevis and the surrounding areas. And, you know, these are the guys that have got to go and help these people, so um, they need all the support. You've got to really know your own capabilities, that's the whole thing, and be aware of, of what you can do and, and be ready to turn around. Don't, don't feel embarrassed that you didn't make the summit or whatever, just know when to turn around. You've got to get the weather right because it's so unpredictable up here, it's quite unbelievable. Today it's 23 degrees, two days ago with snow, heavy snow and blizzards in the summit, so it just shows you how quickly it can change, so we really need to sort of drum into people that they must know their own abilities before they head up the mountain and be realistic, that's what it's all about. You've got to be realistic because you only want one shot at life so you've got to, you've got to be very careful. So we've been into town now, we've spoken to a few of the locals, learnt a little bit more about the Three Peaks Challenge. Now everyone's very enthused and excited to get going. Preparations are taking place for the big climb. We're leaving at 4 o'clock tomorrow morning.